Do you guys still sleep in grass stashed houses? Do you still sleep in houses made of mud? Those of you that keep asking that question and possibly because of genuine curiosity or lack of proper information. But anyways, yes, we do. Yes, we do sleep in them. We still do sleep in them. Why wouldn't we sleep in them? Why wouldn't you sleep in a house that has its own natural cooling system? Even when it's the hottest of the hottest months in Uganda, you don't need a fridge to keep your water cold or your drinks cold. The grass-touched house does that free of charge. You don't have to pay for the energy. Why wouldn't I sleep in a house that takes nature to construct? That I'm not worried of trying to buy expensive materials in order to have a house to sleep in. Why wouldn't I sleep in such a house? Mud scents better than paint. I don't know if you knew about that. Why wouldn't I sleep in such a house? So many times we love to dehumanize other people's way of life or cultures. And simply because we lack information and also because you have grown up in one kind of lifestyle. And you think that one kind of lifestyle should be the standard of everyone. So many cultures in so many places around the world have been dehumanized. The people that think everything theirs has to be the standard of everyone. Most of us are striving so much to adopt cultures, to adopt every kind of way of life that is not ours. Because we have the verge of trying to prove ourselves that we are doing better. Actually, we are also doing better. We also have this. We also have this. We also have this. We also have grass thatched houses. How will we promote our cultures when we ourselves are not proud of our cultures? If it doesn't kill, why shouldn't we celebrate it? When did grass thatched houses become a piece of embarrassment? Anyways, we don't sleep in them. I had such a great night's sleep. This is a kind of house that even heals insomnia. You can't lack sleep. Never.